awesome. It's great. This is our fourth year of Extreme Fitness Makeover, and this year we are going to make things rougher, tougher, more Try up, dips, go. exciting for these guys. We're going to push them harder. We're going to take them to their limits, yep, and we're going to keep helps. them going to see what kind of results we can get. Teresa Stagger, and I just want to change my life. I am. I'm from Lindell. What do you Federal, What do you do? I work at Floyd County Board of Education in the print shop. And about this challenge, what are you looking forward to the most? Um, an actual change in lifestyle, not just to get fit, but change my habits and eating and working. Intense. Out. What does your family think about it? Um, it's really intense. Um, my husband's been very supportive. Um, I hope he has supper cooked, <laughs> but um, it's it's definitely different. What's your weight loss goal for this? Um, 30 to 40 pounds, but I'm going to go further than that. I'll tell your name a little bit about you. My name is Brandy Shooks. I'm 15. I got a wrong high. What made you decide to uh, enter this extreme fitness makeover this year? Because I've been wanting to lose weight for a long time, and I don't want to have to have diabetes or any health issues. How did you hear about this challenge? My doctor. And what were your thoughts when you entered this? Well, the first day I was very scared and nervous, but uh, I was, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. But it what is your goal for this challenge? What do you want to lose? What do you want to get down to? How fit do you want to become? I want to lose about 50 pounds. And then uh, after this program, I'm going to continue to try to lose weight. Um, I'm Rebecca Wood. I'm the manager of student accounts at Shorter University. I'm married to Brandon Wood for seven years, and I have a five-year-old little boy, Eric. What are your thoughts about the challenge? What are you looking forward to? What are you dreading? Um, I'm looking forward to getting healthy and getting my life back and being able to play with my son. Um, I dread the workouts um, because I know they're going to be hard. I've let myself go, so I know every day is going to be tougher than the day before. Do you have a goal of what you want to get down to in this competition? How many points? Wait. Um, I would love to lose between 50 and 60 pounds. Amy Brown, I'm 39. Um, lived here all my life. I'm a teacher. Um, my husband's John and I have a son, Jamie, who's a senior in high school. My daughter Hannah's in the eighth grade. What is your goal for this challenge? Um, to get healthy, to get back to where I, I was before I had the thyroid issues. End of the competition, win or lose, how many pounds do you want to drop? Um, gosh, be thrilled with 30, 40. Name your name, a little bit of something about you. My name is Leon Bowers. I work at Floyd County Schools. Um, have four kids, Montana, DJ, Zeke, and Aaron. Busy, single dad. What do you hope to gain from this next summer? I'm not worried so much about my weight. I just want to be fit. Uh, I don't want to die at an, early age, at an early age being unhealthy. What is your weight goal to lose at the end of the, at the challenge? I'd love to lose 40 pounds. I'm Jessica Carter. I'm 33 years old, and I am a student at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. What is your goal for this challenge? I want to get better control of my diabetes through this. Um, my doctor has told me if I would lose a little bit of weight, it would Im greatly improve that, and so that's my goal. What is your goal to lose by the end of the competition? I really haven't set one. Um, when I weighed in, I weighed 259. I think it would just be just like outstanding if I could get like close to 200, but if I could get even probably 225, I'd be thrilled. Uh, my name is Rosa Pruitt, and I'm a Filipino half black. What, what do you do? I mean, as far as work? I work at the library here in town. I'm a non print processing assistant. I work upstairs and I help write on DVDs. What made you decide to go out for the EFM challenge this year at the rack? Well, I've heard about it for the last three years and I've seen the results on other people. And my dad was borderline diabetic and he was a big guy and he died this past July. And I just want to make him proud. It's skinny, so I won't have to be just like him. What is your goal for this? Is there a particular weight you want to lose? Not really lose pounds, just to get healthy and to live a better lifestyle than I am now because I love chocolate and that is not a good thing. <laughs> My name's Ebony Ware. I'm 35. I'm a mother of five. I work at Wiretech. I'm a tester. What made you decide to do it? Um, I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to get my life in order and to live healthier and have a healthy long life for my kids so I can see them grow up and to teach them to be more healthier. What is your goal? Um, how, how many pounds do you want to lose through this? As much as I can lose. It would be nice if I could lose like from 60 to 100. 
That would be great. Cindy Willis. I am 41 years old and I am a stay at home mommy to the best little boy in the world. What is your goal for this challenge personally? Personally, just to get healthier, to lose some weight, to be more active for my child, for my family, to feel better about myself and kick 41's butt. <laughs> as far as end goals, what do you want to lose? How healthy do you want to get? Um, I would love to lose 50 or more pounds and I just want to be able to be active and healthier and enjoy life more. I'm Angie Gilmed. I'm 38 years old. I have two children, a 14 year old daughter, Ashlyn, and a 11 year old son, Justin. I work at Riverside Oral and Facial. Um, this is a new career change for me. It's fantastic so far to go along with my new career and my new appearance, hopefully in a few months. Looking forward to. I'm looking forward to getting back into the shape that I was a couple of years ago, um, but this time around actually learning how to maintain it, learning how to eat right. It's never been that I've really over ate. It's always been that I more have been a, I've eat the wrong things. So I'm hoping that this opportunity will teach me how to exercise and how to eat right. Is there a goal you've set to lose weight, get in shape? Um, I have set a personal goal for myself just so that I would be at a healthier weight. Um, honestly, I'd love to lose 60 pounds. Um, if I do it right, I might. <laughs> thank you so much and we thank you for the commitment in this room. Lord, we know that you're gonna be with us through this whole process and God, through the pain and the excitement, Lord, we will become vessels to honor you. Lord, watch over us, keep us healthy, protect us, keep us safe, no injuries, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Right. You don't even need it. Come on, all the way up. Let's go. Feel good? Ah! Come on. Right now. <laughs> I don't like being out of shape. I am hurting. I'm dizzy, but I am pumped and I'm determined to do this. It is challenge night and it's the end of week one. Um, tonight we are going to get warmed up. We're gonna get these guys wondering what's gonna happen to them next. And then I'm gonna divide them into teams of five. So we'll have two teams going head to head um, to win a great prize. All right, now the way this works is this. All of you are required to do 25 of each before you can start counting. Amy, how many push-ups have you done tonight? 20 right now. Last time I checked it was 20. How many total? How many have you done? Bunch? A lot. More than you ever thought you'd do? Yes, ma'am. Good job. Let's go, Rebecca! Rebecca, how many slams have you done tonight? A lot.
Okay, 2,160 reps. Two, three, four,